Okay, you go and you see a piece of art and it just mm -hmm. has like a dot and mm -hmm. it's like an abstract thing. Right. Like, who, <laughs> <laughs> who says that's art? I know, I agree. <laughs> I, I like that. She's the one that goes. <laughs> the zoo with the curator of the Long Beach Museum of Art, Paul Lawyer. We're going to be talking about Latino artists. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. Wow! wow. All right, I like All right. that. All right, you've seen the show. I have seen the show. Good. Oh, good. So, yeah. yeah, I watched it and I knew prepared for that. So, okay. I'm all yeah, ready yeah. to go. So, so, things you don't do at the museum, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that at the museum. You can't, you can't do that. So, tell us about the life of a curator. I mean, you got to go around finding artists, and why is it important to feature more Latino artists, especially at the Long Beach Museum of Art? Well, yeah, my, my job entails a lot of reading, researching, doing studio visits. Um, we get a lot of pr uh, proposals to, from artists to and other people in the community to do exhibitions at the museum. Uh, and we do we, we celebrate a lot of diverse uh, group of artists, especially right now in the show we have um, a fiber and textile exhibition. And we have uh, Ciccio and Gioni, who's a partnership from Argentina. Yeah, I know them. I've yeah. interviewed them. Yes, they're oh, fantastic. Yes. They, so did the, uh, they did um, like a long, God, what would you call like those those blankets that, you know, uh, the for the... Quilt? Uh, Quilt? A quilt yeah. with different now each square was was from someone who's like an AIDS survivor an oh, HIV survivor correct. or something like that yes yeah. and they per they did that during the pride parade in Long Beach right. in May. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. it was like one of the largest flags you know uh, created well I think that it, it made like like a rainbow right. the quilt, yeah, beautiful. Yes. through each square yes, yeah it's amazing yeah. it was we had that, uh, they're a part of the exhibition and then we have Luis Flores who's a uh, Latino artist from uh, from LA um, he crochets self portraits of himself in a three-dimensional sculpture that's hilarious yeah, it's, it's amazing when I think I'm crocheting I think I'm like old ladies, like abuelitas <laughs> right. or like golden girls. No, 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 no. Now it's like very hipster. You yes. have to know, like, every people in East LA with their houses with crushes <laughs> up on the walls. But this is great. Yeah, and he inspired that. Well, he was one of the inspirations for the exhibition because I liked what he was doing and talking about pushing the gender boundaries and such um, yeah. with crochet and the implications. Wait, how regard. is he pushing the gender boundaries with crocheting? Is well, it like something associated what, with females? More? Correct. Yes, okay. yeah, it's always been associated with females. And so he's like, you know, talking about masculinity oh, wow. uh, and the mm -hmm. ideals of masculinity throughout his work. We so. got to get Umberto yeah. to start crocheting. I crochet. Yes. Absolutely, I crochet. But I'm always pushing the, uh, the gender boundaries of myself. Okay. Okay. Good. You know, I do my yoga poses okay. and I make sure that I go to the women's class because they have the better poses. I'm oh, sure that's where you go. Yes, yes. I need my hips to open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sí, claro. He likes adjustments. Yes. I, I do like so adjustments. Do I. I need an adjustment. <laughs> but uh, tell us, okay, so um, are there more Latino artists now than ever before or have they always been there but they just haven't gotten the exposure? Oh gosh, that's a tough question. I mean, Yes, they're always out there. I think they're being represented, uh, you know, through our museum, through other museums such as uh, Mola uh, in Long Beach as right. well. Um, but I mean, Tanya Agoniga, who's also in our exhibition, just did a huge installation at the Children's Museum down in in, uh, in San Diego. So I think uh, you know, there's a lot of Latino artists being celebrated in the art world today. So, so yeah. Paul, if I was to be an artist mm -hmm. and I would like to be considered. Mm -hmm. to be in an exposition. Uh, what is exactly what you guys are looking for mainly? Uh, it's like authenticity or more like a point of view or what is what you're looking for? All those things. I mean, I think it's just the, the artwork and uh, the the aesthetic of the work mm -hmm. and then also the idea and the concept behind it. Yeah. Uh, it all has to connect and kind of and what the message we want for an exhibition and if it coincides with the um, with the theme of the exhibition, then it then you know it's something that we would consider so but I'm always willing to look at art, you know, I'll always mm -hmm. go out if somebody sends you a proposal, I'll always respond to the email uh, cool. and try to go out there and, and see it if I can um, and make it out there. But I do a lot of studio visits and see a lot of galleries and try to be out there in the community. So and seeing as much as I can to how that way I can inform our community from the exhibitions that we're putting together at the museum. Now, do you yeah. have to, like, let's say I'm an artist and I want to get my, you know, my cambalaches at the, <laughs> at the museum. We know cambalaches, yes. but yeah. Okay. Um, do I have to pay you guys? How does it work? Or do, the, or do you pay the artist? Or, or is it all, like, there's no money involved? Is it, like, a non-profit? It's non a non-profit, yeah. So okay. we, we uh, so yeah, we don't charge the, the artist to be in the exhibition or, or vice versa. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. so wow. it's like quite an honor to, to be a part, you know, being a museum yeah. exhibition. So um, what's the so difference between a museum and a gallery? A gallery? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a commercial gallery. I mean, there are nonprofit galleries, but mm -hmm. you know, those, usually, those are somewhat artist run spaces or they have um, a different criteria. But then a museum is usually non is nonprofit. So in a commercial gallery is for profit. So you're selling the artwork versus the museum where we're oh, showing it for an it. educational purpose. Yeah. yeah, like museum is also only like a platform right, right. exposure mm -hmm. yeah right. okay well, I, and now the business of art right. is bigger than ever 
Yes, yeah. Right, because you know, I'm actually going to Arbazel. I'm oh, from nice. Miami. Have you oh, ever been to Arbazel? Yeah, we're going this year as well. Oh, okay, so, so we'll see you there. Exactly. It's, uh, but it's it's crazy how much, I, I mean, like, let's be honest, the richest people in the world mm -hmm. look at it as an investment. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, how does that shape the, the art world? Does, does it start from the top down, like whatever rich people want to have in their, in their vault, it, you know, for as an investment to, to put it next to the mutual fund and the real estate investment, like that's what shakes the art. Like, how, what, what kind of influence, better or worse, do they have? These investor, these investor, this investor class has on the art world. Well, I mean, we borrow a lot from these collectors, so they might buy works from the from the museum. It's a, you know, it's a whole like an ecological chain. So you know, the artwork goes from the gallery into the collector, then kind of to the museum. In that regard, we do borrow from galleries as well, but mostly we borrow a lot from collectors. The artwork goes into the collectors' homes or into their mm -hmm. collection, and we borrow it for the museum then to inform you know our community through um, through the through these ex exhibitions. Yeah, so mostly it's like a collaborative work, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Like a collective. Yeah. yeah, for me, art is also like really subjective. Like, don't don't mm -hmm. take this the wrong way. Right. But like, sometimes when I go to a museum and I see, you know, a piece of art that is just like a, like an. There is a ghost here in the studio, sorry, and they just keep on calling us. I don't know, we've been having random people call us here in the studio. Okay, sorry so about what, that. I mean, what I mean is like, okay, you go and you see a piece of art and it just mm -hmm. has like a dot and mm -hmm. it's like an abstract thing. Right. Like. Who, <laughs> who says that's art? I know, I agree. I, I like that. She's the one that goes. Because I actually like minimal art. Like, I'll yeah. see, like, a square, like, a black square with, like, a burgundy background. I'm like, whoa, this is cool, yeah. you know, but if it hits me. But go ahead and, like, answer the... No, yeah, it's, it's, it's all, it's the eye of the beholder, right? you know? Yeah. I mean, I agree. it is that. I mean, it's, just, it's some people, it's, a, you know, the, the different um, genres and uh, concepts in art. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, the black dot. I mean, you look at, like, a Frank, Frank Stella mm -hmm. black painting with white lines around people could see that and be like, I don't get that. You right. know? But there's a whole, you know, concept in... in uh, at the end concept that he created, you know, and wrote about that. See, and that's the thing that I love, yeah. that it makes you be just one, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you think and what you perceive as a message. Right. But right. the thing is, like, you, uh, by looking at it, we get together, right? right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, nice. Okay, so if people want to go and check out some of the exhibits at the museum, right. like, where can they get more information about it? You can go to uh, uh, lbma.org is our okay. website. Mm -hmm. And okay. we also have an Instagram, LBMA. Um, and we also have a downtown location, LBMA Downtown, that we just opened up uh, at the beginning of this uh, at the beginning of this fall in September. So okay. we can follow that as well. We have, a, we have a, a six exhibitions going on during that time. Oh, that's okay. wonderful. So if you can't make it to one, you go to the yeah, other. Yeah, we have a downtown campus and an ocean campus. Oh, so. oh, so wait, is the ocean one like surrounded by the ocean? Yeah, it's, we're on a, bl on a bluff and it overlooks the ocean. We also have a... Have a, a, a I think we need to there. go hang out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like perfect hey guys, this was fantastic. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much, much Paul, for My being pleasure, thank here. you. Thank you for educating me in the art yeah. department. <laughs>